friends, Prim here, dropping in to show you a quick way to measure peanut butter. So I'm gonna make some peanut butter cookies here and I need one cup of peanut butter. I have one egg, one cup sugar, and I need one cup of peanut butter. In order to measure the one cup of peanut butter, all I need is one cup of water in a two cup measuring pitcher. And we're gonna take the peanut butter out and just use a spatula and the one cup water is in here and we're gonna take one cup of peanut butter and put it into the water. It almost take a full jar of peanut, but I'd say probably three fourth jar of peanut butter, but this is gonna be easy to clean. It's gonna be easy to measure and you're gonna see how. So as we put the peanut butter in, the water rises up and it's almost getting the two cups. As soon as the water gets up to two cups, we're gonna know that we have one cup peanut butter. It's just as simple as that. Then we're going to put it in the whipping mix with the one egg, one cup sugar, one cup peanut butter, and that's all it takes for some good peanut butter cookies. So it look like we just need a little more. And if you wanna spray your spatulas or your spoon, whatever you're using with a little oil, that's fine too, because that'll help that peanut butter slot right off. Let's just put a little bit more because if we have a little too much peanut butter, it's a-okay. <laughs> the more peanut butter, almost the better. Okay, so we have right at two cups here. So all I'm gonna do is just take one of the spatulas, probably the bigger one will look, be a little better, and just pour the water off into something else. And one thing about water, it cleans up easily. <laughs> and then all we do is put the peanut butter in with the egg that we have here and we're going to put the sugar in but before i do that i'm going to mix it a little bit with my mixing whip my whipping mix so we'll put it in here and put it to whatever gear you want to mix it in mix really easily in the whipping mix and then I'll just lift it up. We'll put my sugar in here. And then we'll mix it. And then I'll turn it to another gear. And just mix it up. And you're going to see I'm left-handed. You're going to see that it mixed really, really smoothly. And we'll just take it up and then get a little of the excess off. Put it right in here. And it's kind of ooey gooey when. When you're getting it into the ball, so I'm just gonna start just a little bit with my spatula. Mix it around just a little bit. We got quite a bit of peanut butter in here. And then all you take is a little spoonful at a time and make your balls of your cookies. It's just as simple as that. Take a little ball, and roll it and then I'm gonna use my silicon baking pan and then just make the cookies and just do a little crisscross here and you're gonna bake these on 350 degrees so you preheat your oven 350 degrees and you're gonna bake it about nine minutes you see here and that's all it is to it Bake it about nine minutes, let it cool a little bit, and they're ready to eat.
the cookies have come out of the oven and as you can see they are light golden brown if you want them a little darker just leave them in the oven just a little bit longer they come easily off the mat here and with this baking pan that I used I have um, six perfectly <laughs> cooked peanut butter cookies beautiful cookies hopefully you could see them in this light that you can see how beautiful they are and that you can see how easy they came off the mat so thank you guys for watching and learning a tip on how to measure peanut butter